What's up guys? It's Daz here. But you don't really care as you have chosen to take the subtle route through all of Hyrule Castle. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Now that we have actually accessed the map, I'm going to show you basically what we're going to do. For the most part, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the internal passageways of Hyrule Castle, starting from the west at the very bottom, making our way all the way around and slowly making our way up until we get to the sanctum at the top. So actually, even though this big old door is telling us to go straight ahead this way, we're not... Well, if it just opens up, we're not actually going to go the big open end way. So instead, I'm going to dive just off the edge because there is a passageway to the west that I want to go and take on. We're going to go from west all the way round to east, I guess, and then west again, then east again. It's a loop. We're doing a loop. It's basically what's going on here, right? Anyway, this path is going to be supported by Lady Mifa and Daruk. Therefore, I have Lady Daruk Mifa's special spear as well as Daruk's uh, big old sword when we need it. I'm also going to grab the treasure on the way. Because I want to. Um, I'm not going to grab absolutely everything in Hyrule Castle. The two things I'm specifically going to avoid is the memory and the Koroks here. We will be getting them soon after this. Um, but otherwise, I feel I might as well just come here and get the treasure while we're here. So welcome to the West Passage. You're going to notice, yes, there's going to be a lot of enemies we're going to be draw uh, worrying about. But there shouldn't be too much of a problem. Well... Not if I'm ending up like this. But anyway, the West Passage is actually quite a nice little area because it's supposed to be in whole kind of minecart. Also, actually, now we're on, on the lower levels, you can actually see the internal workings, which I think is pretty cool. But yeah, you can clearly see there's like a coiling effect of this whole place. So that is where we're going to go. Right, let's hop onto this minecart and actually put it in the thing. There we go. Let's make our way through. Now, I really like the music here. Just the Hyrule Castle theme is so good, and I love how different the theme is depending on if you're inside or outside. Just, I don't know, the way, like, the outside has loud, proud trumpets or whatever it is, and then inside you've got, like, the wind instrument version of the same theme. It just, oh, it just works so well, and I'm in love with it. There we go. I just, oh, Hyrule Castle is so good in this game. Okay, so now we've made it to the next line of passageway, even though it is technically outside there, it all counts as one long minecart area. And now, break this barrel, thanks for the apples. We are in, oh, it's not, not gonna give us a name of this place? Okay, then fine, just a kind of like KV area. If you look on the map, it's just like a big open area that's going to give us more access to the next part, which I think is actually a, uh, there are two paths we can take, so I'll, I'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, this was really just like an open- Oh, I know, I remember now. Sorry, excuse me. This water is... It will let me go deep enough. There we go. Spring water. We are on temporary hearts, and that's why I'm not getting any back. But yes, this is spring water, so if you want health, this is a little health spot for you. Magical spring water. Great. I'm saying the same words again and again. Do excuse me. Right, let's continue further on. I'm kind of expecting a splitting path now. There's a bubble wall here, which is the only way to go, so okay then. Boom, thank you very much. I will take these apples and arrows, sure. Probably won't be using them, but you never know. Thank you. Oh, and you too. Right, now we're in the proper inner workings of Hyrule Castle. We're full on in hallways now, which I think is awesome. I don't know, man. Just the design of this place is great. Okay, here we go. Uh, split in the path, right? One path will take you out into the lockup, as it is called. The other will take you to an elevator, taking you way up high. Actually, is it a full-on elevator? I believe it is, yeah. You can make your way up with the waterfall here, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go here and hello, Moblin. Was not expecting you to be so strong. We're going to need to root for this. Boulder breaker, please. <laughs> Come on. You ain't going to last forever, buddy. I will take you down. There we go. Thank you. Um, what I was going to say there was, um, thank you, Royal Guard Spear, actually. Yes, we're going to want to grab these. These are the new, not the new, but like the special weapons of this specific area. I'm going to use these as, as well, like to grab the break boxes and all that, just to be more fitting. But yes, you can make your way up high with the waterfall. We're not going to do that simply because... I don't want to go up straight away. I want to see all that there is to see on the lower levels first. We're going to go through a loop. You've, you've heard me say it before. So instead, let's go through this way. And welcome to... I've already said it, but maybe the name will actually show up this time. 
No, no, I won't. This is the lockup. This is the prison system or the dungeon of Hyrule Castle. This is a very good place to go because there's actually a few important places or things here to actually notice. First and first, we've got like classic bombable uh, walls, just like in um, Link to the Past and that kind of thing, which I think is really cool. And then, hello you, let's take you out. How fitting that there's bars right in the way to help us actually make our way through. Thank you, right. Oh, hello. Oh gosh, there's a couple of you now. Um, how am I gonna do this? How do I want to do this? Let's use the Royal Guard's spear, just so I don't break the boulder breaker straight away. I think that sounds nice. Uh, and, okay, sure, a Bozo's Fury. Wasn't planning on using those specific moves for them, but you know what? If it works, then sure. Allow it. Right, get out of here, please. Uh, still not down? Come on! Wow, that Moblin was still being stunned. Bam! Nope, I missed. Okay, alright, there you go, that's you down. And then, hey buddy, what? I don't even know what you're doing, but I will... Uh, did we lose the thing already? The spear? Oh, that's a shame. Um, we'll go Master Sword then for a bit, just because I don't want to use the champion's weapons and destroy them straight away. Bam! You can tell when the Master Sword is doing particularly well because it glows over the top. On top of that, oh, thank you Daruk, I knew you would be coming in helpful hands soon enough. When you have the Master Sword at full health, which I think is actually why it's glowing properly, you can, is this a new thing? No, it's not. You can throw the sword, and what it will do is it will shoot out a beam. Just like the classic Link, ga Link games, Zelda games, which I think is pretty cool. Right, go back here, there is a treasure waiting for us. Thank you very much. Topaz, not bad, sure. Maybe I'll actually finally be able to buy those uh, jewel accessories. This is where we want to be, this end of the lockup. There's a big open room. And inside, a big bad Stalfos. In fact, it's not even a Stalfos, it's a Stalnox even. Hinox and Stalfos combined. So for this, you're gonna wanna take the guy out because he's guarding something very important and the only one in the game, pretty much. He's got something in his head. Oh, that's a great electric blade, I think? I'm not sure about that, that's cool. Bam! I'm going to use bomb arrows because they work really effectively and actually, if, you, if your eyeball's just going to come down here, then I might as well just slash with the Master Sword. This is the first time we've also fought that Stalnox in this playthrough. We saw one way back in the West Nakuda region, or the Dueling Peaks region, whatever you want to call it, and uh, it never activated, so that's why I never went to the guy, but oh well, we are stuck on something. There we go. Get out of my way. I have more bomb arrows. I am fully equipped with everything, you realise, so... I don't think I can't take you down. In fact, you're gonna go down real soon, buddy. Oh, I missed. <laughs> it is funny though how his eye just comes out and he just keeps, like, detaching it. But anyway, this might be the final hit. No, it's not. Okay, this will be with the master. You know what? Even better. Let's do it with Daruk's Boulder Breaker. And that unleashes us. Something very, very important. First, he knocks Tooth. Uh, Thunderblade, sure. Royal Broadsword, Royal Halberd, sure. I'll take it for now. I'll probably sell it at the moment we're done here, but oh well. And let's read the thing first. Test of the Royal Guard. Strike down the giant foe to become recognized as the Knight of the Kingdom. Nice. Well, we're definitely a knight now, as if we weren't all this time before. It's the Hylian Shield. Yes, we have the tunic, the shield, the master sword, and pretty much everything else. I think I will equip that, thank you very much. Right, let's continue. So, at this point, what do we need to do? We need to get to... where? Where, where are we? We're all the way over here. We need to get to the other end of the lockup. That's easy enough. At this point, I think it's just a bunch of minor ishk treasures and then a bunch of enemies. So yeah, let's find our way through. This path is supposed to be not so much sneaking as much as it, well, it was originally going to be sneaking, but I figured it was kind of boring that way. So we'll turn it into finding everything on the intern in the interior of Hyrule Castle, which also works too. Um, where is the switch? This is the switch. It's just, just stuck. You have a treasure in there, and I, I have access to you before. Oh, I remember now. Excuse me. What you need to do for this guy is you need to go into this room. There is another... Actually, you're not silver, you're just a normal guy. You know what? I don't, I don't like that. And then, not you right out. Is that you dead? Wow, you went down quick. Okay. You're gonna slice me. 
Thank you for that. All right, let's try this again. Uh, stasis, yes. You can go like that. Let's do this again. We need to go into the other uh, prison room and then use a bombable wall to get through. We can actually do it here too, so I might as well set that up. Sure, here you go. Ooh, you're still hitting. You're just still going for me, aren't it? Run over here. Uh, let me take your... Oh, that was a boomerang. Never mind. You can have this. Oops, that might have gone too far. Yeah, no, that's fine. Hey, you. Ow. Okay. Thank you, Mifa. I wasn't... Actually, no, I was planning on using you in this route, so it's very helpful. Thank you, lovely. Take your treasure. What are you... Silver rupee. That's nice. We really don't need rupees at this point, but I will accept it anyway. Hello, yellow Liz Alpha's tail. Apparently, you've never had one of you before. That's a... Kind of awkward. All right. All right, let's continue. Oops, I do not need a bomb right now. So at this point, yes, you do need to use the bombable rock in the prison room, because otherwise you can't get through. Oh look, there's the path through. Ain't that easy. And we also need another one of these arrows to take you out to somehow unlock the doors, which is slightly twisted, but alrighty. Thank you. I guess maybe you're shutting the switch? Yeah, that was what you were doing. Cool. Um, you are still... No, you're not pieces. Never mind. I wanted to grab your monster parts. Not that I need them. We sold all of our monster parts, really. Anyway, here's the Royal Guard's Claymore. In case you couldn't tell, the Royal Guard's weaponry is the strongest in the game. 72 damage on the Claymore. That's pretty powerful, to say the least. For speedrunners, what they all often do is they'll run straight to this castle, grab one of these, and then use that to fight the final boss. Oh well, we will be doing a bit of everything. Right, let's break you. Thank you very much. Big hardy truffles. I really don't need it, but it's it feels wrong to not grab it. Does that make sense? Right, here we are just at the end of the lockup. In that case, this is the exterior. Hello, you. Wasn't planning to take down a guardian, but if you're going to force my hand, there you go. Right, so now, um, let me be sure. Grab your pieces. Lovely. I want to go further up. No, I don't. I don't want to go further up. That is the exterior path, which, to be fair, we haven't seen the back of, and we probably won't. But I still want to go through the interior parts mostly, so we're going through here into the docks. I better get on my, uh, Zora armor. Boop, boop, boop. Lovely. Also, in case you hadn't noticed, we have not, if you're, like, jumping into the finale only, we've done this entire playthrough pretty much without using any of our pants. Apart from when we need them for speed boost, like the Zora armor, or sand and snow boots, or climbing gear occasionally. We really have done this without wearing pants for pretty much all of Hyrule. Our feet have touched every part of the land of Hyrule, with just nothing protecting it. Bear. Which I think is kind of funny. Right, let me put on my gear again. And get rid of you. Lovely. Okay. So here we are in the docks, which we've actually already seen because we were unlocking a shrine last time. Hey, buddy. You're going to hit... Wait. No, that's not what I want to do. There we go. And then... There we go. You're going to hit me with a shock arrow. I'll do the same to you, buddy. And bam. Bam. Oh, still not down. Wow, you are quite strong, actually. Bam. There we go. Thank you. There was a bombable barrel right here. Of course there was. Whoops. And smash. Actually, let's, let's do the... Uh, nope. Got already? No, you're gonna you're gonna thrive in there, aren't you? There you go. Now you're done. Uh, there is a treasure chest here, actually. Let me grab that. Sure. What are you, buddy? Ancient arrow. Cool. We have a chunk of those already. How many? Twelve. Actually, we could do with more. Well, alrighty. Let me grab you. Thank you. Um, I think that's pretty much everything else covered down here. It looks about right. There might be something on the other side of that, but I'm not too fussed. Get me up. Keith, you are not a burden to me, so let's continue upwards. At this point, we're going to start actually making our way, you know, upwards. We're suddenly, finally on the second level. Honestly, the interior areas of Hyrule is mostly on the ground floor, or like low down, which is kind of disappointing now that I'm thinking about it, because when I first came here on my practice file, I'd always, I was always like, wow, Hyrule Castle is massive. I'll never understand where everything is and learn the mapping, but actually it's quite simple. Like, the interior areas are on the lower level on the outer angles. Like, it's a circle around it. There's, if you look, there's not a lot on the inside. It's all the outer edge. So it's, I mean, to be fair, this Hyrule Castle is still great, and you'll get to see a ton of, like, how things work. But even still, it's like, man, could, could have been bigger. But I'm, nah, I'm still very impressed with how this looks. And you can see a lot of, like, the history of how 
Hyrule Castle went. Now this is almost broken, so I'm probably going to switch to... Let's just switch to the weapons we've grabbed on the way, sure. Like the Great Flame Blade. I want to keep... Or Thunder Blade. I want to keep them, the uh, Royal Claymore... No, the Royal Guard equipment up so that I can actually complete a side quest later. Also, the shrine is here because we activated it. To activate it, in case you hadn't seen it before, you need to light up that uh, big gauntlet over there, and that brings back your shrine. Makes you fight a big old guardian scout, so have fun with that. Rightio. Now we are coming into, I believe, the king's study. Now we're getting into the nitty-gritty history. No more about the dungeons and the dock, and that, that's literally it. We are making proper progress now. Uh, I was not, did that not activate? There you go. Hello? Oh, actually, this is the library. Well, this was the king's study. I could have sworn it was. Or are we like, is the king's study directly above us? No? I don't know. Oh, you can see it just behind us. Okay, it's up there. In that case, anyway, look on your map and you can see there's a secret room to the right of this doorway. And let me see if I can find it. Well, let me take you out first, actually. You're a bit of a nuisance. Yeah. Out of here. Bam! Gosh, you are still alive. Get out of here, dude. Bam! Thank you. Right, where are we on the map? Looking that way. So we want to be over there. There is a secret room here. Anyway, we'll make an endeavor to find it. Give me just a moment. Aha, there's a secret here. You can see the discoloration. Use Magnesis. It's another fake door, just like the one we came out of, technically. And through here, you will find a nice little staircase. Some ore, apparently. More shrine business, which is, well, you know, chica business. Interesting to see in Hyrule Castle. I guess it's because, like, the garden took over. Some nice rupees, and apparently that's about it. Alrighty. Give me these. Thank you. I will take these gems very gladly. And, ooh, another stone smasher. Sure, we have the best stone smasher in the game, but I will take that too. Just to be armoured, I guess. Speaking of which, we'll be heading to the armoury soon. Anyway, here we are at the library. There is a side quest we can complete here. One of the stables in Central Hyrule had a person asking for cooking recipes or cookbooks. These can be found real nearby. I'm just sort of trying to look to see if there's anything else to activate, but you can see... Actually, this is not it. I thought this was like a discolored book. Wait, is this... Where is this? This is where we came from, isn't it? Yes. Okay, there's also another path on the right, which I might give a little peek at, but either way, there are cookbook recipes nearby on some of these tables. Oh, there's this one. Uh, Castle library, library Book. The Royal Family Secret Recipe Number 1. The Princess's Favourite. Fruit Cake. Boil any two or more pieces of fruit with a tapantha wheat and cane sugar for a good while. Eating this dish will apparently clear your head and help you focus on things such as ancient technolo technology research. Nice. That's that one remembered. The other one is upstairs in the library because this library is actually two floors, which is kind of impressive. I don't know, just the fact that you've got these big full-on rooms. There are basically no interior rooms in all of Breath of the Wild, apart from the bland sort of housing units of all the different towns, so it's kind of nice to see a big, open, detailed, two-story room. Great! I enjoy this place. I really do. Uh, you could get out of here, please! There you go. I knew it was only one more hit. I'll take those fire arrows. Sure. Give me your pieces. Clearly that's not a place we can go right now, but we'll unlock it soon enough. Right, let's go upstairs. Don't mind me. And... Oh, of course there's more of you. I guess I should have expected that, really. Okay, you know what, let's use... Yeah, sure, we have plenty of arrows, so I'm just gonna spam these for a moment until you're done. How's that sound? Yeah, I'm alright with that. Cool. Uh, I didn't even notice that last hit. Maybe I was one too early. Oh, well. Right. Oh, hello. Treasure chest. Silver rupee, lovely. Um, is there an eyeball nearby I can shoot to get more access to things, or do I have to just make my way around? I think I have to make my way around. Okay, that's fine. We're good for now. So then, in that case, let's climb up this clearly solid straight brick wall and onto this next path, because the cookbook recipe is actually on that side of the area, I do believe. But oh well, we'll have a look around anyway. So you can see there was plenty of books in Hyrule Castle. Wow, you, you were still alive. I knew it. You are very slippy, dude. Thank you. You know what? Sure, give me your stuff. Right. I don't know, I just... I love the history of this place. Although when I played it in my pre uh, practice playthrough, I was very, like, overwhelmed. So I didn't really go everywhere. I was just like, I don't know where to go. I'm just gonna go a direction until I got to the, the ending. And I found the ending, which was nice. 
But still, now I'm actually able to go through it properly. I know where everything is. It's really lovely and liberating and interesting. I really, really, really like it. You can probably tell. Right. Come up here and we shall find our second cookbook soon. There's also a Korok in this region. I'm not going to grab it, as I mentioned earlier. Hello, buddy. Oops, I missed. Also, I've never done this before, like, locking on, strafing, and aiming an arrow. Also, my, like, my aim was automatically not, like, locked onto him, which was weird. I was trying to avoid him almost. Me. Right, I just want to burn through my arrows and not use up my weapons, so there you go, thank you. We can get out of here. Lovely. And second cookbook is right here. The, fa the royal family's secret recipe number two, the Chancellor's favourite, monster cake. Stew monster extract to bant the wheat, cane sugar, and goat butter for a spell. It's a dangerous dish that makes your head fuzzy and make may even motivate you to plan evil schemes. Lovely. Alrighty, and now that that's done, we can make progress, though I don't think we can actually go in this direction, because it might be a matter of the uh, malice is blocked only on this side. Nope, there's just a third. There was three levels. There were three floors, but I guess this one didn't have a full, full floor. That's pretty cool. The other way to the other side of the library will take you to the exterior. We may come to it later, we may not. It's not that important. I really want to go onto this main path here, because as you can see, actually it doesn't look like it links all the way to the end, so we'll have to go that way anyway. But either way, we can see that there is a boxy room at the end of this, which is very important to us. Or at least it is to me. So we're going to go there next. Uh, there is a frost blade up there. Do I have to yank you out like this? I will take you, thank you. Since we're kind of running slightly low on weaponry. Although that, that won't be the case real soon. So, hello, don't mind me coming in for a quick second. We're back at the library because we actually missed the whole King's study bit. I know I mentioned it a few times, but in actuality, there is, sure, that secret door there, but there are a couple other secret doors in the library which we completely missed. Get out of here. This one is the King's study. Not only having a royal guard shield, but it has King Rome's actual diary here as well, so we're of course going to read that too. Thanks for the gold rupee. Let's go. The writings of Rome, Bosphoramus, Bosphoramus, Hyrule. Today, as the sun rose and a new day was born, my daughter too joined this sweet world. In keeping with the traditions of the royal family, I have decided to name her Zelda. I am not a man accustomed to frivolous musings, but now seems as good a time as any to begin in my royal memorandum. Reports keep arriving regarding the excavation of relics. The fortune teller's predictions seem to be coming true. Calamity Ganon was not a figure of fable, or even of legend. He actually exist in our great he existed in our great land of Hyrule. We must investigate all the relics, learn as much as we can, but our designing understanding the divine beasts alone will take time. Zelda's eyes lit up like a wild fire when I told her about the relics. I must admit, she has a knack for research. My queen has left this world. Her death was so sudden and unexpected. I awaken most nights unsure if she is really gone. Zelda never cried, never faltered, not even during the royal funeral or later when she and I were alone with our grief. I must assume her strength is a result of us repeatedly informing her of her duty to be a valiant and steady princess. For a child of merely six years old, her conduct was truly that of a born leader. Her strength gives me hope. From is her rule alone. Now, only I remain to prepare her for her difficult future as Princess of Hyrule. Zelda finally reported back after her visit to the fountain. It seems her sacred sealing power has still yet to awaken. It has been a year and three months since her mother passed. Perhaps she is held back by heartache too deep to heal. If, Gan if the Ganon prophecy was, wasn't was looming over our heads, I would tell her to take her time, to wait until she is ready. But our situation is dire and leaves no room for weakness, even on behalf of my beloved daughter. My heart breaks for Zelda, but I must act as a king, not a father. I must order her to train relentlessly at the fountain. I was told Zelda went off to research ancient technology, so I had no choice but to confront her about it. She claims she was simply using her day off from training to indulge in a bit of research, but still I scolded her. She won't get it through her head, forcing me to tell her the same thing I have been repeating ad nauseum. The reason her secret powers still won't awaken is because she's spending all her efforts playing at being a scholar. In truth, I understand Zelda's feelings, painfully so. She lost her mother, her teacher, before she could even learn from her. 
10 pointless years of self-training without so much as a book or note to help her find her way. Those in the castle talk behind her back, and I, her only family, scold her for her shortcomings. No wonder she wishes to hide away in her beloved relic research. I'd love, I'd love nothing more than to console her. But I must stay strong. She must fulfill her duty, just as we all must, even if she comes to despise me. I have been told my Zelda went to the Spring of Wisdom. This will likely be her last chance. If she is unable to awaken her power at Laneru, all hope is truly lost. If she comes back without success, then I shall speak kindly with her. Scolding is pointless now. I forced ten years of training on her, and after all that, it seems her power will stubbornly awaken some other way. Perhaps I should encourage her to keep researching her beloved re relics. They may just lead her to answers I can't provide. For now, I sit anxiously, more a father than a king in the moment. I sit and await my daughter's return. Oof. But yes, that is the king's study. Didn't want to miss it. There you go. Now you got it. <laughs>